Okay, guys, so Justin Bieber won on SNL this past Saturday. Let's see a little clip of it. Stallion, ain't in no stable, no, you stay on the run. Ain't on the side, you're number one. Yeah, every time I come around, you get it done. 50 50, love the way you split it. 100 racks, let me spin it, baby. Light a match, get lit it, baby. That jet said, watch a sunset, kind of. Hey, yeah. Oh, I like that beginning so much. I like when it started, I liked it so much. I didn't even like, I tried to repress that he um, started off the song by scratching his little balls. But listen, <laughs> watching that, it felt like alive again. Like when Stella got her groove back, just kind of like, oh my God, this is what this feels like, loving Justin Bieber. And I also got like a little like, oh my God, watching. Cause it was so cute and like seductive. I was like, Justin Bieber is flirting with me. And I could feel it. And I, I remember looking at the screen and being like, is it I? That's yummy? Is it me? And then there was a switch and this happened. Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum. You know, I'm just like, can I do a handstand? No. So do I do a handstand? No. Can Justin Bieber dance? So, also it got a little croaky for me, and I understand also it's because he was like dancing, et cetera, et cetera. But it almost made, like, that, that part I was just like, oh, okay, and I just did this to the laptop, and I was like, you weren't flirting with me, it was definitely the girl behind me. Um, but it made me almost like resentful of him. <laughs> That's so drama. It made me resentful of him because I remember how he like used to perform when he was nine and he used to like look like he like loved being up there. He was having the time of his life and now it just looks like he's clogging into work. You know? <laughs> he's, he's like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be here. It's just obvious. He wants to come in, do his work, get his paycheck, leave, go see Haley. Have him like spoon feed him and compote de mango. Like, I don't know, baby food. That's what compote is. So there's just no like passion anymore. It's giving me a lot of like Britney Spears, tainted by the industry vibes. You know it. Like if you watch, watch old Britney Spears videos and she's just like, ah, 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 ah. I do a great Britney Spears impersonation, but I have to be like standing up, very selfish. But now she's very much like, and it's just so painful to see. And I feel like that's the kind of vibe that I get from him. He's like, girl, I got that, yeah, yeah. Like, I can do that too, bro. I can bend my knee. We can all do that. But I feel like you are not in the space to do a huge pop tour or be another like pop tart, like the, the kind of pop, pop, pop tart. Did I call him a pop tart? Yeah. I did, I did. And you know what that is? Yummy. But listen. <laughs> If you're not ready to like be on SNL or have that kind of tour, then that's totally okay. You can do small venues. You can do private, private club rooms and like a smaller kind of venue tour. That's totally fine. But listen, Justin, if you're watching, which if you are, I'm so sorry, but also I've been uh, learning some TikTok dancing, and now that I'm a dancer, listen, those dancers are not good. The spacing is off, they're not coordinated with each other, you know, the timing is off. And um, me, Molly Wrighty Producing, and Kim Wrighty have been learning some moves, and I think we're the kind of backup dancers. Actually, I upload another TikTok dance, at hello Tevi and TikTok, if you really Tevye. want it. Oh, no more TikTok. you can't control me. Yes, you can. Oh, it's gonna break. That's my show. It's live weekdays at 12.30 p.m.